Hey, what's up guys? How you been? How you doing? It's been a little while since I've been uh, on the mic. I've been doing some, like some sporadic updates almost like once a month, a little bit, a little bit less than that. I think uh, actually this last few months, I'm finally getting him back into a groove. I got a number of videos uh, kind of lined up here on YouTube as we uh, have entered open beta for Paragon been in open beta for a while i kind of feel comfortable getting back into my groove making content doing those things like that uh, but that's largely in part why i've been mia you know i've gotten questions asking me about gears and a bunch of other games so you know i wanted to give you guys uh like an update kind of telling you guys what i've been doing you know where i'm at uh stuff like that so first off uh, for those that know i am uh the community lead community manager on uh, paragon in North America and uh, you know I work on another of other things at Epic Games but uh, I have for the last almost year now been uh, pretty uh, busy at work with everything related to Paragon and so uh, in March well actually in January of last year which is around the time that I stopped uh, streaming uh, consistently we had our first online test for Paragon in March, we went in early access. July, we went PS Plus uh, for free. And then uh, August, we became a free-to-play uh, game in beta. So, you know, my schedule right now has been super busy, and I've been 100% committed and focused on putting my work first. Uh, for those that don't know, I mean, I, I'm not a full-time YouTuber, never have been. Uh, it's always been a hobby of mine that, uh, you, know, I, I, you know, I just enjoy making videos and, and helping people. Uh, with their with their gaming skills, uh, as well as showcasing my own. So that's kind of what I've been doing the last, you know, basically year or so. Um, you know, the last couple videos that I produced uh, really were like Destiny videos, and my brother did some stuff. Me and my brother did some stuff from like January to February. But I've largely been not too active here, and uh, now I've built out a content schedule, starting to work some on the weekends, and um, I'll be getting back into streaming here very soon. So. Schedule wise for me has been pretty much 100% dedicated to work. Work is first, right? Like that's how I pay my bills. That's how I take care of my family. And I really, really love my job. So, uh, you know, those are the things that for me have always taken priority. And, uh, you know, for some of you, that has been something where you guys still get to interact with me because you're playing Paragon or you, you know, you're watching our dev streams or doing whatever uh, as a form of, of communication with me personally. So I appreciate those of you guys that have been doing that. Um, kind of looking at the games that I want to do, things that I've talked about in the past and, and have not been able to kind of act on them because of uh, work, you know, I'm, I'm playing Overwatch. I'm playing Paragon. Uh, there's some games obviously coming out or that have come out that folks have asked about, at least on my channel, that I've seen, you know, things like Gears of War, right? Like, am I going to play Gears of War 4 uh, or Titanfall 2, for example? I played a heck of a lot of Titanfall 2 even after the game was quote unquote dead, if you will, by the, the communities uh, that played it. But I, uh, I don't really know what, I, I, I mean, I don't have a solid plan on what I'm going to be playing. Uh, going forward, I'm, I'm going to play a lot of Overwatch still, um, and I'll be making a lot of content for Overwatch. Um, Gears of War, I just, I, I, I'm not very passionate about making gameplay for it. I probably will, I'll probably stream it a little bit. Um, I, I haven't even bought the game yet, guys. So, you know, for me, and I've said this before when I talked about, uh, you know, Halo and just my mindset. If you guys remember this back on Frag Logic. I am so over franchise titles, and I give me I love Gears of War, uh, the IP, but from a gameplay experience for me personally, I have a hard time hopping into you know the fourth or fifth or sixth iteration of a game that could have basically been the same and just developed over over time rather than going to the new shiny thing. So as a gamer, I'm in a much different different place than I have. Uh, or was even what so five five years ago from 2011 when Gears 3 launched. So uh, for me, I'm looking at new things, new game experiences, uh, trying to uh, you know build an audience around not necessarily a game, uh, uh, but just just having fun, man. Just having fun and playing games and playing. 
the games that I would enjoy. So, you know, I don't necessarily, I, I won't say that I'm not going to post Gears gameplay, but like I said, I don't have the game and uh, it, I haven't been pressed to purchase it. You know, I've been supporting folks that are in the competitive scene or that I've known for a long time, either stopping in their streams or just chatting with them about ideas that they could use for their own, you know, videos and whatnot. But uh, I've, I've not personally had any uh, drive to to really uh, push that on the channel. So I've gotten, I, I don't know how many questions about that, either on Twitter, on my YouTube channel, just Facebook, all types of, in, in face, in person, uh, people ask me if I'm gonna get the game. So it, it's uh, it, it's definitely something that, I, you know, I think that I'll play, but I, as of right now, I'm not too interested in it. Um, Titanfall 2, I'm gonna play quite a bit of. Uh, you know, I loved Titanfall, wanted to see it do uh, better than it did and and now that it's coming out on PlayStation and Xbox and, and PC I think that we might see some more success with the game uh, in general Battlefield 1 I don't know yet um, You know, I kind of felt like I got burned on Battlefield 3 Battlefield 4 just because of all the issues that the game had on launch And I'm a, like a diehard Battlefield guy. So I'll probably end up playing that I think Skyless and Cali North two of my teammates are also playing it. So it's definitely something that uh, I'll, I'll probably give a, ch a chance. I don't know how much I'd play for it uh, with it. Another thing that I, you know, I think that is important that I let you guys know is that Christy is very much so, and that's my uh, fiance. Uh, she's very much so interested in Call of Duty. She she has been since maybe Black Ops or Black Ops Two, and she loves absolutely loves Call of Duty. So she really wants to play uh, Infinite Warfare. And so, uh, and she wants to get involved with just streaming and doing stuff with me uh, when she's home. And so you, we're gonna make a con concerted effort to play more games as a family, uh, you know, when we sit down and have some uh, some free time, either streaming or making videos or whatever. So you guys will see that some more on the channel as well. Um, so yeah, she wants to play some, some Call of Duty. So I normally get Call of Duty and play that with her for We'll have a brief brief time that I can be sit down and, and play some Call of Duty. Yeah, it always seems like it's like a month and a half, and then I'm like, okay, I, I can't do it anymore. Um, so yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised if you guys see some of that. And I guess the big question uh, that a number of, of folks have also asked is, am I going to play uh, Destiny? Um, I, I can't even the Iron Fist, something Iron Iron something, uh, the the DLC. And and you know, I I watched a lot of gameplay. And, uh, you know, it wasn't drawing me. I probably will, will go ahead and get it, but I, I don't know if, I, you know, the next Destiny thing that I play is actually Destiny 2. Well, um, I, I haven't decided yet, but, I, you know, I've watched Triple Wreck and, and a number of other guys uh, that, you know, I talk to on a semi-regular basis, uh, play and, and lurked in some other channels and you know it just it just wasn't doing it for me so we'll see i mean yeah i really really enjoy that game uh gameplay is fresh uh but uh i don't know i just didn't feel like that was enough to bring me back so we'll see i you know i, I it's always like i said i had a hell of a lot of, of fun but but i'm not sure what what i'm going to do outside of that um i am very interested in vr i know it sounds I don't know if this is to say it sounds crazy, but uh, I am very, very interested in VR right now, uh, mostly because uh, Epic made this announcement about Robo Recall, and uh, it's a game that I really advise if you have an Oculus when it when it's out and available that you try it out and see why I have an understanding of where the space is going and what it can do and what it can potentially be. So uh, I, I don't know if I'm going to make the effort to put a lot of... Uh, financial resources into making that happen but at the very least is something that i'm also uh, thinking about so that's a pretty long update that's a 10 minute update basically for you guys on um, what i've been doing where i'm at where i'm going things i'm thinking about as it as it pertains to gaming otherwise you know i, I think from a shift for me is like i'm still going to do lots of gameplay builds breakdowns but i want to have a lot of fun um you know going forward and uh i uh, gotta enjoy myself so uh, that's that's a key thing uh, that uh, I, I think that in terms of you know all the questions I've received about am I playing this or am I playing that I just want to have fun at this point um, so that's where I'm at hope you guys uh, enjoyed the update until the next time folks I will catch you all later and stay frosty and brethren.
If you like this video, you should probably click on the one down below. That'll take you to another video. You may like it. A little bit about me. I'm a former pro player. I play PC and console, mostly shooters. I also have a gaming podcast. I do tips and tactics, live gameplays. Check out my Twitch. Also, I work in the industry. Why are you not subscribed?